Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Leo. So if you're a Leo sun, moon, rising, Venus, not known, or if you have a stellium in Leo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading. So it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you did resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Okay. Roles might get reversed here, so take how it resonates. Could be dealing with a Taurus, um, Libra, Aries, Aquarius. Leo, another Leo. Okay. Okay, what does this card do? Okay, this person is lacking the passion to actually pursue you right now. They feel like they need to be patient here. The king of wands is a very fiery energy who goes after things unapologetically. So this person, the king of wands coming out in reverse here, this person feels that um, they should much rather work on themselves right now than, you know, actually work on this connection. And also they're lacking the passion. person might actually be thinking that it's better for time being for right now to walk away from this connection because things aren't working out also this person might feel like there's a lot of imbalance in this connection and it's it's literally like it's it's not easy to get things balanced again it's possible a lot of uh, uh, like a lot of things happen between the both of you because of which it's difficult for the both of you to get back on the same page again this could be the reason this person is focusing on work a lot right now this person could also be using work as a distraction to not think about you or this connection now the ace of swords here you're definitely wanting clarity like the truth here you want to speak to this person like ace of swords eight of wands you are expecting communication from this person you want this person to talk to you to communicate with you but this person has gone silent on you and this silence is almost making you feel with the five of cups here that things have ended between the both of you once and for all and nothing cannot like nothing can happen again things cannot go back to how they were again there's nothing left here there's a lot of disappointment you're feeling when it comes to this connection a lot of disappointment a lot of wallowing sadness sorrow but the empress here this you saw this person as your counterpart as your like husband or wife so this connection ending has is really making you feel very very disappointed here the full year for some of you, you are ready to give this uh, connection another shot, take another leap of faith to make this connection work. Like the fool and the ace of wands, I definitely feel you're ready for to give this another shot. With the four of wands here, this person also saw a future with you. But then 
like the four of wands and the sun there was a lot of happiness between the both of you they saw a future of this connection but with the five of wands here either there could have been multiple people involved in this connection there could have been a third party situation or there was a lot of disagreements and arguments between the both of you because of which this connection didn't work out like there was there was good times when it was good it was good when it was bad it was toxic and unhealthy Let's clarify then. possible was too selfish ten of pentacles it's very possible that you might think that this person wasn't willing to build, build with you like you wanted commitment from this person ten of pentacles is the highest commitments like marriage having that stable commitment um you wanted that from this person but this person wasn't ready to give you that they were too selfish they were too focused on other things or on work with the king of wands here this person might have been a bit of a player energy like the king of wands is a player energy so no denying that so even if this person felt this happiness with you they saw a future with you they were not ready to settle down they were not ready to give this connection like just want to have you in their life just want this connection because they felt happy with you but not give you that commitment basically not plan the future with you okay both of these cards came out reverse like this okay so this is the high priest which is the hierophant and the queen of pentacles this person is trying to distract themselves with work here the high priest of the hierophant is the commitment card the queen of pentacles is again someone you build the 10 of pentacles with person's ways hasn't changed completely they still are emotionally not ready to with these two coming out in reverse they are still not emotionally ready to give you that commitment you are looking for and that is why they are not approaching you they know you want commitment they know you want stability you are looking for the 10 of pentacles kind of energy and they feel like they can't give it to you they are not ready for it and that is why they are focusing on work here this could be the uh, the pers like the kind of person who has this kind of goals like i want to achieve this much only then i'll i'm willing to settle down i have to finish this this and this and only then i'm willing to settle down i'm willing to marry get married give you that commitment this could be the thing with this person and that is why with the 8 of pentacles they are working hard on their career and they are not ready to give you this commitment here also with the eight of pentacles and justice there could be something legal going on in this person's workplace that is taking up all their time some legal issues this person could be facing some legal issues or some legal problems here because of which things aren't moving they can't do anything about this connection right now
justice came out here you want some commitment from this person you want a relationship where there's equal give and take where there's a future of the relationship you want stability here ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck ace of pentacles is the cornerstone to the ten of pentacles yeah look at that as i said the ace of pentacles is the cornerstone to the ten of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles and just if i can handle these cards just below the eight of pentacles is the ten of pentacles and i was just saying ace of pentacles is the cornerstone to the ten of pentacles you want this sort of a commitment from this person but they can't give you that right now okay let's see the actions then Right. you could be dealing with a libra pisces cancer virgo gemini all right okay for some of you you might be thinking like maybe you should be the one to communicate with this person first for some of you only you are going to try to communicate with this person because with the moon here you're feeling very insecure you're feeling very scared you're feeling you're feeling confused you do not know what is going on and so you will want that closure that clarity from this person and that is why you are going to communicate with the with this person now for some uh this person here queen of swords four of swords ten of wands this person feels burdened they feel overburdened by the fact that they cannot give you what you want right now queen of swords here i don't think this person is going to be that open to communication to you even if you try to communicate with them they are not going to be that open or that welcoming of your energy they i'm not going to say they are not going to like leave you on read here no they are going to reply to you and everything but this is this person is going to make a head over heart decision here so if you are expecting this person to give you um you know um what you want give you that commitment it's not going to happen with the queen of swords i don't feel like this person is going to lie to you that much they are going to be open about it that they are not ready for a commitment commitment is this person feels like commitment to be a 10 of wands kind of energy Now with the four of swords here this person does miss you they dream about you they think about you a lot they are trying to gain clarity regarding what they should be doing to this connection and it's possible that when you if you do contact this person this person is going to be thrown off balance a bit but the um thing is here they are going to tell you that they are not ready for it Oh, bottom of 
the deck is four of wands. You are confused about should you take a leap of faith when it comes to this con uh, connection? Should you talk to them? Should you be the one to open up to them first? The page of pentacles is here. The page of pentacles is repeated here twice. So this is you just being torn about should I communicate with them? Should I talk to them? Should I be the one to co communicate first? Yeah, Ace of Cups. You have feelings for this person. So you are confused. Should I, should you be the one to communicate with this person? Should you pursue this person? Should you go after this person? Or should you just let them go? Focus on yourself. With the King of Wands, um, Leo, you are a fire sign. So this is almost your energy here. Should you focus on yourself or should you go behind this person? Because you do have feelings for this person and you do see and happy ever after with them, with the four of wands. This is what the confusion is. judgment you want another chance with this person yeah it's the same energy judgment and the chariot should you be the one to make a move towards this person can there be a second chance here should you move towards this person talking about this second chance should I be the one to offer, basically? And it's very possible that you might not even uh, like tell this person that you're looking for commitment. Like when you talk to this person, when you communicate with this person, it's possible that you might just, you know, I heard olive branch. I don't know exactly what olive branch means, but that's what I heard. So, you know, just a small gesture towards this person. I'm sorry the light changed, one of my lights went out. So, so you might just offer this person like a friendship, like let's be friends, let's try to work this out together. But this person, I think they are going to be clear to you that they do not want any sort of commitment right now. They are not ready for that. This is what this person is going to be clear about. Yeah, this person is going through a transformation right now. Yeah, and the Nine of Cups is again there. Okay, you can't see that. Can you? Nope, you cannot. But this is the Nine of Cups. So, um... This person is going through a transformation but they haven't really transformed it the nine of cups is that still selfish energy that's there there with this person so this person hasn't completely changed okay leo i really wouldn't recommend you to try to talk with this person right now it's just my like you don't have to listen to me you can do what you feel like, what your intuition tells you to. But it's better to not mess with this person right now. Like if they are going through some process of their own, then this person needs to grow up. They need to change. They need to evolve. And let, let this person go through their own process. It's better not to communicate or not to talk to this person um, right now. Like even that page of pentacles kind of offer. I don't think this person is going to actually reciprocate what you are going to offer them or I heard the term respect. So take it how it resonates. If this person has been disrespectful towards you, the 
because the world and the high priestess here which is the i guess you can see from here the world and high priestess here so which is literally the high priestess the hierophant card so this person could this oh my god this person could be spiritually evolving right now closing cycle spiritually evolving so let this person do their own thing right now all right leo well that's your reading i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye